So if a patient says no, they don't want to move to a particular long-term care facility, will that be honored? And once they arrive at that facility, um, how is Ontario Health or the ministry guaranteeing standards of care? Well, first of all, every effort is going to be made to speak with the with the person uh, and with their family to obtain their consent. Um, there may be some situations, but they will be extremely rare where a transfer might need to be made without the patient's consent. But what is really important is that the person would not lose their first place in line for their first choice. They wouldn't be required to make the co-payment and it would deem to be medically appropriate for them to be transferred to a home that will be able to um, manage their concerns. So we need to consider every aspect of the person's life. It wouldn't be appropriate, for example, to send someone who only speaks some um, Cantonese to go to a purely English-speaking place. We need to have the right match and that's why every effort is going to be made to speak with the person and with their family to, um, to find the right match and to um, uh, first of all obtain their consent, obviously. That, that needs to be done respectfully. And, uh, and it's not just a, a one conversation issue. This is something that may take some time and uh, that will certainly be honored.